my garage. Today we are working on my 1999 Honda CRV. We are going to go ahead and start doing horsepower modifications. I've been saving up to do this uh, for a couple months now, and uh, this is where things get real fun with the car. Uh, but yeah, it only makes about 146 horsepower and 130 foot pounds of torque. And we're looking to increase that with the cylinder head modification that will increase it to 200 and 160 foot pounds of torque. So, and I'll be able to rev it up to like 8,000 RPM. Glass, boat. <laughs> Versus right now, revving up to about 6,500. All right, here we go. This is a 1999 Honda Civic B16 VTEC cylinder head. It's a PR3-4 cylinder head, all right? Uh, I'm gonna use some stock cams. Got some other components, injectors, and things like that. I'll go through later. All right, so we're gonna have to make some modifications to the cylinder head. Flip it over here. We'll look at the bottom of it. There's a hole right here, and this is the inlet for oil to flow into the head that controls the VTEC. So it goes in here, it goes to the solenoid, does all the controlling. It's fed from a hole in the block, which the CRV doesn't have. So this cylinder head has to get oil from somewhere else, but uh, what we're gonna have to do here is we're gonna have to tap and plug this hole up because um, we're gonna have oil running through this thing and we don't want it to come out of this hole. So you just want to go deep enough to where this plug will sit just below the surface of the head here. Alright, so we take the head, spin it over, go to the back of it. Here's the VTEC solenoid right here. There's a plug that the factory's plugged. We're going to take the plug out. This is where the solenoid and the whole valve train is going to get the oil now. We're going to install this fitting here along with this line that's going to attach to where the oil filter goes. The oil filter would come off the block, this will install, this will go here like this, the oil filter go back on here, and this is what's going to feed the head, the oil, for the VTEC system. I was wondering if the timing belt had ever been done, and it's done, it's a Gates belt. The car only has 140,000 miles, so I was real worried that it hadn't been done, but it's been done. So if you're planning on playing along at home, you're going to need to swap out the water pump. Uh, this is a 19 teeth water pump, and you're going to have to swap it out for a GSR, or Integra Type R water pump, which I have here. There's different uh, teeth. Okay, this is a 22 teeth, and the original one is 19 teeth. You can actually see how big of a difference in uh, the pulley size is. Um, the timing belt's going to be different also. You can use a GSR, Integra Type R. I just bought a Gates uh, timing belt kit. Came with the water pump. Um, comes with a new tensioner I have somewhere um, over there that I'm going to put on here in a second, and a new timing belt. So uh, the length and the teeth are going to be different. All right, here we got the VTEC oil filter adapter. This is going to feed the VTEC to the cylinder head and 
goes right where the oil filter would go. Then you use the adapter, throw an adapter bolt thing, screw it on there. Or like one and one sixteenths, the gas wrench. So I'll be using some ARP head bolts. Um, this does come a kit for the B20 um, VTEC B16 head conversion. Okay, there's a whole kit. Um, normally you do this when uh, you do head studs when you're going to boost a car. Um, I don't know if I'm going to boost this or not. I might, but um, the biggest reason why I bought these was because the cylinder head bolts, um, the stock ones, they're not long enough. Um, you got to get some uh, GSR um, head bolts because um, they're longer to work and they're about eight dollars a piece and if you have to buy like what two four six eight ten ten of them um, you might as well just get some head bolts um, for a little bit more money and it kind of future proofs um, on the engine because you don't want to go back in there to put some head studs in there but yeah go ahead and put these in um, they just go in hand tight all right some step down dowel pins Bam. Good. All right, so I'm going to torque the head down in two steps. Uh, step one, it's going to be all 20 foot pounds. And then in step two, it's 61 foot pounds. I'm gonna do it in a certain order. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step one, I'm gonna do it again, 60 foot pounds. So. All right, so last night I got pretty far with the cylinder head. I spent about an all day Saturday working on this thing and I got the valve cover on. All right, so the power steering isn't gonna work. This pump isn't gonna work because the bracket that originally goes here um, doesn't line up, you can see. Um, you have to go with a, well, what I got was a B16 bracket, um, which should be totally different, which is gonna take a couple days to get in. Uh, the cooling system is um, a little issue too. The radiator hose is not long enough. Okay, so here's the inlet right here on the cylinder head. On the B20, it sits here. On this guy, it sits here. And this is different. So I got to order this, or I ordered this, and order a new hose that's long enough to reach back here. Okay. Uh, another thing I ran into was a coolant temp. Uh, I had to extend the wire. I still need to do the VTEC wiring, which is going to be on uh, the next video. And uh, I think that's all I ran into. Oh, distributor. The distributor from the B20 won't work either. So I have a distributor on the way. It, the VTEC solenoid is in the way. Okay, so you need a B16. I'm assuming or a B18 distributor to make that work. So I uh, still need to wrap up the... Uh, fuel system here and yeah, I do Have some of the old emissions still like ran and hooked up. I just did this to make this um, More simple as far as just plugging holes right now before I start deleting everything, but yeah uh, Next video uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and work on the fuel system. So we're looking at the next one We're gonna do some injector installation uh, The fuel rail and start working on the other things needed to complete the uh, cylinder head install uh, should be pretty fun. Just some uh, expected little things uh, kind of slow me down a little bit. So parts on order and uh, we'll get on it when I get them.